How's it everyone? My name is Binks, South African artist and producer. I am bringing you Spotify Wrapped 2022 today. It is officially out. The date is November 30 and Spotify Wrapped 2022 is upon us. Social media is wild right now with everyone uploading their Spotify Wraps. And I wanted to share with you some of the things that were new to this year's Spotify Wrap that I haven't seen in previous years. And one of the things that stood out to me was they have launched 16 different personality types, sort of music personality types, and they're kind of discovering what your listeners, so based off of your artist page and your music. So for example, my artists were labeled as the adventurers. So you will get a different type of music personality that your fans have. And I would love for you to post yours in the comments below what type of listeners you have, what their music personality is. So there were 16 different kinds. I was going to see if I could pull up a couple of them. But while I, while I grabbed that, there were so many other things I wanted to bring up. So one of those, for example, is the video message that Spotify was promoting for this year. You could upload a 30 second, well, artists could upload a 30 second video to their profile and that would get sent out to their top fans. Now, the one thing I have noticed is I've had a couple friends tell me that I was their top artist and nobody mentioned anything about a video message or the merch. I reached out to them to ask if they were shared my merch page and if my video message was sent to them and it wasn't. So I'm very, very curious about why that is because Spotify was very heavily promoting that if we uploaded our 30 second video thanking fans for listening to our music this year, that it would be delivered to them in Spotify wrapped, along with if you have just recently published your merch and just bear in mind that you had to do it by a certain date, which I did, and it didn't go through for some reason. But perhaps there's a delay with that. Perhaps the Spotify wrapped is something different. Maybe tomorrow they'll start sending those out. You know, maybe it's it's enough just getting the wrapped right now. So maybe it like trickles in as time goes on. So I'm curious if you did do this video message for Spotify wrapped or uploaded your launch, your 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 merch launch in time for, by the deadlines, let me know if yours went through or if you know of anybody who did receive that yet. I did see something, I, I'm not confirmed on this, but I saw something about Shania Twain posting about that, but I'm not sure if that has been delivered yet. So if that was... An oversight and if they were delivered today that would be quite sad because I put a lot of time into that and I'm sure a lot of other artists so I did see that a statistic was I think 40,000 artists uploaded a video message this year which it was something so so small last year and this year it was significantly larger and I don't know if that has something to play with maybe there were so many videos uploaded so maybe they are going to do it at a later stage but Definitely let me know if your video message and your merch was delivered to your top listeners because we got to talk about that. So let's go through a couple of the things that they show you on Spotify Wrapped this year. So on my Spotify Wrapped, they showed me my listeners. They showed me how often my music was streamed to the exact number. They also shared how many exact minutes people listened to my music, how many hours and how many days, weeks, months and years. So it's kind of and it'll kind of show you just sort of with those statistics how for how long people were listening to your music this year. And these numbers are always fascinating because I don't know how many artists sit and go through all of their analytics and their numbers not many artists I don't think do that. If you do that, let me know because that's a skill for sure. So they also show you who saved your song and how many times, how many times. So saves is a massive thing in Spotify. They always talk about how saving is almost more important than somebody following your profile. They say that saving your song or adding it to a playlist can sometimes have a little bit more sway. So I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but I have heard this multiple times. Then it shows you what your, tr your top track was. Hopefully it was one of your own. If you're an artist, you got to be streaming your own music. And it also tells you how many times it was played throughout the year. And that's fun. 
this was one of my favorite. I, I love this because it's so fascinating, especially when you're starting out to know where a lot of your listeners have come from because that's always fascinating because you never know where your music's going to be most receptive to, who's going to be most receptive to your music and who's going to gravitate towards it more and where in the world so that's always really fascinating to me my top five were united states united kingdom south africa ireland uh, canada and japan and i found that really fascinating because so I've always known United States, United Kingdom, and South Africa, but Canada and Japan were were a new discover for me this year, I think. I'm pretty sure that Canada and Japan really stepped up their game with my music this year, so <laughs> that was fun. Let me know what your top five countries were in the comments below. Then it also shows you how many people listened between a certain time frame. So like, what's your hot spot for your time frame? Is it in the morning? Is it in the afternoon? Is it in the evening? So mine actually ended up being in the morning time between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. So my fans are early birds. Then it also shows you, so this is new, and this is very, very fascinating for somebody who's looking to up their marketing game for next year, whether it comes to email blasts, and so that would actually tie in with the statistic previously. So for example, if, if most of my listeners are listening to music at 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. Uh, at my time, PST, then emailing them my new, new music or singles like right before this time chances are more likely they're going to click off of your email blast and go and stream your music at these peak times. So this is a fascinating new new little time piece. And, you know, also maybe, but maybe it was already factored in because I was emailing around that time when I do send out my mail blast. So maybe that is why I was already receiving a jump or a push in streams at that time. So this one, like I mentioned, was really fascinating to me because it shows you how many times your music was shared, but most importantly, how it was shared. Now, this is so important if you're going to be diving into things like Facebook marketing or any kind of marketing for your music next year, because it's showing me directly in this perfect little pie graph, like circular pie chart that who's sharing it and how they're sharing it. So basically, most of the links were direct links. There's text messaging, there's Instagram, there's WhatsApp, and there's other. So that to me was very fascinating. I'm definitely going to dive into that and figure out how I can utilize that statistic. Next is, they actually brought up a song of mine from 2019 called Shockwaves. And they were talking about how it was wildly doing its rounds again this year. And they were like, you know, this, even though it was released in 2019 they were like it still sounds perfect today and they show me how many times people have listened to it throughout this year and how well it was doing this year even though it was a couple years back now they showed me how lot how long my how much my canvases were paid attention to and i thought this was interesting because i don't canvas sounded like such a such a great tool and then i couldn't understand why it didn't seem to be doing really anything. I wasn't sure if it, if it was helping the listeners. So that's something I need to dive into is how effective are the Spotify canvases. And they were saying that they got a lot of attention and they were seen a, quite a few amount of times. So it's obviously doing something. So as I mentioned, my music person, my listener's music personality is The Adventurer. Make sure to comment below what your, your fan's uh, personality type is, their music personality type. Then it shows you how many people added you to playlists this year. It showed me that Summer of 22 was added to the Love Island USA official playlist, which was very exciting. They've never really shown me specifically which playlist your, your songs get added to. So I did find it interesting that they specifically chose this playlist, maybe because we got the most streams from this playlist. So that's also another factor. And then this I thought was really great statistics wise because it showed you how many, uh, how much growth you've had throughout the year in percentages, which I think is the most important part. We, we shouldn't be so caught up on the, the vanity metrics, right? Of I got this many streams or this many followers. It should be more based off of a percentage so you can actually see your growth and actually try to see where you can improve without feeling badly about your numbers or excessively great about your numbers you know so 
Uh, it shows you a percentage of the listeners, how much that went up, the percentage of streams, all went down, up or down, how, uh, how much of your streams went up, what percentage or down, how many saves, up or down, how many playlist ads, and how many followers, what percentage that was, up or down. Then uh, it said, and then this one was, was very interesting. It was telling you how many, how many fans you are their top 10 artists, their top five artists, or their top number one artist. This was very fascinating because it's, it's interesting to see on what level are people receiving your music? Are you number one and driving or are you like always in their top 10? What are the differences between all of those categories? That was new. I've never seen that before. I mean, most of these, most of these are new. And then they finally just give you a full on breakdown of your, your listeners, your streams, your followers, just all the good statistics for you to sift through. But that's pretty much it for Spotify Wrap 2022. Make sure to drop yours in the comments below so we can check them out and support each other. My name is Binks. Make sure to follow me at Binks Official on all social media platforms and go check out my music uh, on the streaming platform platforms at B-I-N-X. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>